All right, take two in the audio. Bop, 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 bop. What up, y'all? My name is Shade Fox. Welcome back to the Major Looks channel. And today, we're going to be getting into transitional looks that you can do going from winter to the spring. I feel like I don't know when this video is going to go up, so this might be a little early. However, preparedness. If you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. Like I said, if you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. And when people try to plot on your downfall, they ain't got nothing to say. It's giving low 50s here, some rain, some some dusting of a rain. And so this is what I came up with. And I hope that it helps, but feel free to make this your own. Feel free to take what you want, leave what you don't want. So the first look would be a relaxed kind of blazer look. This is something that I have a hard time with and I haven't even put these outfits together. These are just outfits that I know I've put together in the past that are fitting for like a transitional time from colder to not so cold. Um, and these are hard to pull off for me. I'm not gonna speak for you, I'm gonna speak for me. A little hard to pull off, but I really do like it when it does happen. I like incorporating blazers. I'm trying to incorporate blazers more into my everyday because I don't want blazers to become this thing that I only wear when I'm trying to dress up because then if I wear a blazer in an occasion where I'm not needing to be dressed up, it's gonna look dressed up. And so I want to incorporate them more into my everyday kind of casual looks that way. You know, it feels less of a buttoned up thing. With the weather transitioning from winter to spring, colder to not so cold, you don't really need to have a super heavy layer jacket. And so that's why I like opting for a blazer because it's kind of like a two in one. It's a style element, but it is also another layer. It's also a type of jacket. And so, you know, especially if you have like a nice kind of like lightweight wool, um, blazer that'll keep you a little, a little toasty, you know, if it is a little bit chilly outside. This one, I wear this year round. I wear it in the summertime, it don't matter. Winter, it don't matter. And that is a very nice button down with a t-shirt underneath. It's very much Friends. Like when I think of that of that show Friends, I just remember like all the, all the dudes wore were like button downs, like colorful button downs with like white t-shirts underneath, buttoned up. It was giving very much, you know, I work at your local bank. You know, it was very much giving that, but I like it. I like that kind of like 90s moment with the button down. And so usually I would go for a boot if I want it to feel a little bit more elevated or I would go with the sneaker, most likely a high top sneaker. That's kind of my vibe more so than low top sneakers, at least at the moment. So like I said, kind of bring the look down, make it feel more grounded and casual and less like a businessy, I'm about to clock in, you know, kind of vibe. And this is perfect for literally any season because button downs you can get in any fabric and so in any color as well so like silk uh your linens um your lighter like cotton blends and that kind of thing are going to be definitely more suited for like summer and spring whereas your wools uh your more heavyweight cottons that type of thing will be more suiting or more fitting for the colder months but I think I understand where I'm getting at here. And button downs and t-shirts is a staple for me. It's a part of my style DNA. And when it comes to transitioning, it's kind of a go-to. I don't really have to think about it too much. Next is going to be denim on denim. Denim, denim, denim binders and folders and banner on a denim. Do you remember that old, old Navy commercial? Denim Converse one star shoes. Denim. Adopting from the Canadians a nice little denim on denim look. I know this is a very controversial thing, so girls, don't get the tussling. I don't think your denims need to match. <gasps> That's just me. Denim feels very much like a neutral. I think that green is also a neutral. I think that like certain olive greens are neutrals, and I think it's the same thing for denim. Any type of blue, as long as it doesn't have like um a tint to it that makes it lean like yellow or anything like that, I think that it's fine. If you want to be safe though, if you want to make sure that like you're gonna do your denim on denim look and you don't want anybody looking at you crazy, the safest way to go is, is to have both of your denims match. I think that any shade put together looks fine because I don't know, denim, like I said, just feels like a neutral. And so when you add neutrals with neutrals, it kind of doesn't matter. I, it's the same thing with like monochrome outfits. Like you can have, five different shades of white on and you're still wearing an all white outfit. Same kind of vibe with the denim on denim. Damn. Also controversial, but I don't care. I think it's vibe. Socks and sandals. Listen, if you are not a socks and sandals person, me mentioning this is not going to convert you. 
But if you are a sock and sandals person, then you get it and you are with me on this particular style. During the springtime, I wear socks and sandals, usually with like a higher sock and then shorts, but I'm encouraging you to do what feels right for you. And if socks and sandals isn't your gig, then it's just not your gig and not, hey, no pressure. But personally, I think that it's the best of both worlds. I hate being barefoot. So I'm usually wearing socks anyways, regardless of the time of the year. I feel like it adds such a like ease to your outfit and it adds like an element of like kind of ugly or eclectic like to your outfit because it's socks and sandals is kind of jarring but if you get it you get it if you don't like it you don't like it but it's just one of those things that once you add it to an outfit it definitely changes the tone and it makes it feel i think more like quirky or gives you kind of like a more unique tone to your fit and of course you got the socks in case it gets colder and then the sandals in case it gets hot and the next style, the last style that I think is really perfect for this kind of like transition moment is any type of like shrunken sweater or shrunken sweatshirt fit. The baby tee trend is definitely like having its moment. And to be honest, I feel like the baby tee trend, I, listen, I am shaking the table today, but I feel like baby tees are timeless. I just do. I feel like it's also like wildly unisex. I love how like just a small shrunken little, little, little shirt, little t-shirt just looks on a woman. I also like how it looks on a man and anyone in between and beyond um, and all body types as well. I feel like it's just cute, you know what I mean? And so I think that that shrunken sweatshirt, shrunken sweater kind of vibe with like a bigger pant is also fitting for the winter to spring time. I don't think that the shrunken element necessarily has anything to do with how warm that piece is. I think whether it was shrunken or if it was oversized, it was going to be as warm as it was, you know? It's more specifically for like the aesthetic of it. It's, you know, kind of adopting those like spring and summer trends where we like to do the, you know, the tighter tank tops and just more fitted short sleeve, uh, tops in general. It's kind of adopting that silhouette of just that shrunkenness, but you've got the long sleeves so that you are a little bit warmer if you need to be. Like I said, I don't know how I'm going to style this, but in my mind, I feel like I would wear a pant that was a little wider or maybe like a straight leg pant, maybe even something that has a little bit of a rise to it. And then, I don't know, probably just like a cool sneaker or something like that. That's most likely what I would wear. Like I said, I have not styled any of these yet. For, for reference, I tend to shoot my B-roll on another day than when I shoot the actual like talk through portion of these videos. So I really don't know what I'd be coming up with until it happens. And so I hope that these looks inspired you. I hope that this video helped you. Let me know what the weather is giving for y'all right now. It's definitely giving like, um, like I said, like low 50s right now. I cannot wait until the springtime gets here because Portland is so much better. It's like way better way better when it's a little bit warmer outside. People are just nicer. I mean, people are nicer in general. I cannot wait uh, for the spring. My girlfriend's birthday is also in the spring. Follow me on Instagram. I'm a, I always say how I'm gonna post more outfit pics, but listen, you get the content right here. You get the outfits right here, okay? So follow me on Instagram. Follow me here, subscribe. Like the video, come on, bro. Like, you know what we do here. You know what? You already know what the rundown is. And uh, do not forget, wear what you want. Wear what you like, wear it out. See you manana. Or no, I'm gonna see you soon. I'm not gonna see you tomorrow. I ain't your mama. <laughs>